Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fold this origami butterfly. It looks something like this. Um, it uses mostly valley folds and one pleat fold. So those are, um, I'm going to introduce the pleat fold on this assignment. To get started, you're going to need a 60 pound piece of paper if you're in the classroom. If you're anywhere else, you could use origami paper or something, um, any other kind of paper you want. And the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a square. So to square a paper off, you're going to take this top edge and fold it down to this side. So I like to start by thinking of a triangle like this and then I roll that triangle out towards the edge of the paper so that this edge here is parallel. Once you get that parallel, take your bone folder and push it towards the crease so that you have a bent part right here in the middle and then take your bone folder and slide it out to the corner and then the other direction slide it out to the corner. So you have a big triangle like this. Then what you're going to do is cut this bottom piece off. All right. Now if you already have an origami square from like a package or something, you can just use that. Um, but that's how you square off your paper. Now the directions in class say that you're going to need to start with a valley fold. This is a valley fold. This is a mountain fold, right? Because the mountain fold goes up and the valley fold goes in like a V. And you're going to start with that valley fold like this so that the open end is pointing towards your belly. Then you're going to take this corner and the directions say to take this corner and fold it over to meet the other corner and then unfold it. So I'm going to crease it really well with my bone folder. Make sure you crease it so you have a nice hard crease and then unfold it so it looks like this and you'll have a line down the center. Then it says to take this corner here and fold both pieces, there's two pieces, one on top and one below, fold both pieces up so that the corner meets that edge right there. Okay, because you want to have that corner meeting the edge of your paper. Then fold that like so and you'll have that corner pointing right up to the edge. Then you're going to do what's called a pleat fold and you're going to take both of those corners and fold them yet again back like this so that the corner goes off this edge ever so slightly. Alright, so there I'm going to crease that and this is called a pleat fold because it makes a zigzag. I kind of think of it as a zigzag fold. If I hold my paper up you can see that the line goes zigzag, zigzag like that. Alright, and that's a pleat fold. Okay, then you're going to tuck this little corner right back underneath like that and then you're going to take this corner here and you're going to fold it down so that this line goes straight down the edge like so. Alright, then you're going to do the same thing on this side. Take this corner and fold it down the center just like that. Alright, now it says take this top piece and fold it back so that it goes ever so slightly across this center line. So I'm going to fold it like that. If here is the center, I'm going to have just that little piece poking over and that's going to be end up being our head later. Okay, so there you go, you have that corner and that's another valley fold. Then it says take these two wings here and fold them back in a mountain fold. A valley fold would be like that, but we want to fold a mountain fold back around like this and if I show you that from the other side it looks like this. All right, And depending on how tightly you fold that you might have a little overlap here which is fine if you do it a little bit more you can even have more overlap and that can be part of your design so it, it doesn't have to be perfect um, so there we go so that would be a mountain fold because we're folding it back and it's folded up like a mountain there okay so then um, you're gonna have your butterfly here and then all you need to do is if you want to bend these out a little bit you can and you can fold the little head over the top and that'll keep the whole thing kinda stuck together and then just for like one more detail if you want to you can take this corner here and fold it over in a valley fold so you have like a little teeny wing poking out there and fold this one over into a valley fold and have that little teeny wing poking over there. 
all right? And so that is how you make an origami butterfly. And if you want to go even further, you can just bend it a little bit like this, and it'll have its wings stay up. So that is how you fold an origami butterfly.